Okay, I'm gonna take on the first person shooter aspect of this oh, did world. We... Did you oh, get okay, the, we're uh, not... thing for it? Yeah. We're not doing outros for... and intros for episodes, just the whole recording session? All right, oh, no, that, ended playing... up, that, this, that ended up being the case because I forgot to do the outro for episode one. No, it's Banjo Doom. <laughs> FPS, Banjo Edition. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is going to be a long series. If we end up doing intros and outros, it's going to take for even longer. I felt like this part would took forever. This 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 one. That... This one. If you know your way around, this can. This won't take. This doesn't take long at all. So, so, it says the it says the guy who forgot the trigger button. I'm curious. Is this a multiplayer? Yes, this is. Yes, yeah, this, this is, is definitely. This multiplayer. is actually one of my favorite multiplayer. This yeah, and so I think fun. this is based off of GoldenEye, the multiplayer of. This. Oh, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's the game by Rare that made GoldenEye. Rare hair. Rare, rare, rare. Rare, rare. All, rare. all the rare meats you can eat. The speed run for this. Is absolutely insane. I, I can imagine, like... Okay, Jake, I want you to pull up the speedrunning times for Banjo-Kazooie versus Banjo-Tooie. It's hard. Uh, te technically, someone beating Banjo-Tooie in, like, less than an hour because of a certain glitch. I'm not surprised. It's, it's like... Okay, 50, pull up... 58 minutes, I think it is. Still, I want you to compare the times. Right, so because if nothing <laughs> else, I think that should get Wait, the point across. So the do you want one hundred percent or uh do one hundred percent and then any? All right, so let's go to here and there. Okay, yeah. Okay, P uh P uh uh what was it PG? It, this guy named PG. He's absolutely insane. Like, what? What? like um. He has to pretty much he holds the the uh the world record for every single banjo to it. Like every single record that you can think of. He All had right. it. And let's see. All, All right. Here, and let's see. Yep. So, Stevie Bobo sold the world, uh, world record for 100%. Hold on. We just got access to the slightly sacred chamber. The slightly sacred? Okay. Yeah, so... it's only slightly sacred. It's not too sacred. You could probably take a dump in there and you'd be fine. Oh, then there you go, my, my poop is slightly sacred. Well, okay then. Alright, so for. Oh no. It's, it's called uh, Straight to the End Warp. It's, it's 2 hours, 31, uh, uh, 43 minutes, and 21 seconds for okay. Did any percent. Did you say percent. 2 hours? Yeah, 2 hours for any percent. Ooh, but that's, that's, without, that's without the glitch. With the glitch, it's 43 minutes. Yeah. Sounds about okay. right. Yeah. Go through this, walls. This, yeah. gl this glitch. Okay, is so compare that so with insane. the any percent of Banjo Kazooie. How long is that? Uh, the any percent of Banjo Kazooie is one hour and twelve minutes straight up. All right. Oh, so Deputy Bobo has it back. Good job for him. Gotta collect those green hates. And the, okay, ready this for this? The one uh, for Banjo Kazooie for one hundred percent. You're you're gonna die, bruh. Dude, I know. So for, uh, oh, for, he did! Lovely. So for 100% of Banjo-Kazooie, it's 2 hours, 30 minutes, and 12 seconds. Ooh. Okay, so the original, so Banjo-Kazooie had a live system, that's, that, that's completely gone in this. You can basically die as much as you want, and they don't punish you. Punish. Honestly. All right, who wants to take a crack out of what's the 100% of Banjo 2 he is? I want to say like six hours. It used to be six hours. I'm going to guess two. Not two, it's not six, it's somewhere in between. Four. Somewhere. 
four hours. Four hours, 23 minutes, and 30 seconds. Ah, uh, the king was right. Four? Oh, and uh, this is kind of interesting, actually. Yeah, rapid fire! The, the, there's a called, uh, the, uh, the truck is called Jinjo Man Pimp. Man, man? Which is pretty much saying they're using an already saved file. <clears throat> and they know where every single Jiggy is, or they want to be specific of where the white Jinjo is. Okay, we got access to the really sacred chamber. Oh, now my poop is really sacred. No, if you take a dump in the really sacred chamber, they basically kill you in the Anna Jones oh. style. Oh, well, okay, at least so my poop survived. This, this segment actually gives you two Jiggies. This one is for getting ten statues, and the other one is a boss battle. I still like this first-person view of this game. It's really yeah, nice. It works especially well on the 360. I love what I love what Kazooie says at this part. It's hilarious. Yeah, let's let's actually watch it. I just For hope. Once. Look, Banjo. Look, Banjo. There is another Jiggy. This is just too easy. I just hope there's. Yep, this doesn't we'll have freeze. the game finished in no time. Okay, this is another thing I want to bring up. Ukulele's fourth wall breaks are painful. It worked in Kazooie and Tooie because they were subtle, they were quick, and they didn't happen too often. Uh -huh. In Ukulele, yeah. they happen every five mi They happen every five seconds. Yeah, the, I, I remember uh, Ed and Eddie had a bunch of fourth wall breaks. I didn't like I. I caught they some of the fourth subtle. wall breaks. Yeah, I think the worst part about it is that they There's put together. Game. They put together uh, a huge video of all the fourth wall yeah. breaks in the entire series mm -hmm. and it's like 30 minutes long and some of it you don't even realize you don't even yeah like, like sometimes... fourth wall break like fourth, fourth wall breaks work best when they're subtle mm -hmm. we only like, have nine minutes is, is anything but subtle <laughs> i think i think my favorite is my favorite in ed and eddie is the one where um, I forget what exactly he was doing, but, uh, Ed was basically uh, jumping on top of, like, he was, like, skydiving or something, and he was about to land on Jimmy, and Jimmy looks up and says, Aunt Ruthie? <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember that episode. But yeah, I no, and I think the worst part is, um, they point, they had to point this out to me because I didn't really understand it. That's actually a really... Uh, close um, match to the creator's name, Antonucci. Oh! Okay, Ant yeah. Oh, that's so creative. <laughs> oh, no, I, Again, um, subtlety. Something ukulele does not have. Um, my, one of, two of my favorite episodes would be the one where Ed was completely pissed off because he had pebble in his shoe. Okay, we gotta run away. <laughs> yeah. We gotta run away. And... <laughs> My second favorite episode was when the Eds were in the abandoned home and it turned out to be um, a canker hideout where they were being wed. Do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I, I, I think the ones with Rolf are hilarious. The one about his, um, about the flower that he planted and uh, Ed boy <laughs> had to fight him. And the boy. Do do not underestimate a son of a shepherd. Do not underestimate him for being a son, son of a of gun. Shepherd. <laughs> That's actually what? one of my. It was one of my favorite memes. That was one of my favorite memes for a while. Do not underestimate a son of a shepherd. <laughs> Especially when you find out. Shepherd. Uh, He's the he's the Zaxxon voice out of actor of uh, Goku from Dragon Ball. <laughs> That's a really bit of a stretch. Oh, oh wait, now I know what you're talking about. The uh, the voice actor. Yeah. And you just you just see, ship, you just see see okay, him we like. We have with seven jiggies. Feet. Do you know how many jiggies we needed to get to the next world? Ten. Four. No, it's not, I think yeah, it's four. Four. Four? So I four is the magic number here in Banjo. Four is the magic number. 
I you just idiot! Realized... It's three! <sighs> I just realized there's, there's a very likely chance that when uh, Fa Final Fantasy 16 or 17 comes out, Final Fantasy 14 might still be popular. You do, re 14, do, they, you do realize they Final Fantasy 14 only became popular because they did a re... They completely redid oh, the yeah, game. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, uh, I think it was called The Realm Reborn. Yeah, no, the first version was awful. Yeah. Uh, wasn't like they, 13 they, the worst? 13 is an awful... 13 is widely considered the worst, yes. Yeah. 13 and its two sequels, which I am impressed they made enough money to create those sequels. Yeah, was it 13.1 and 13.2? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, it was a. It, it was, was thirteen two and then thirteen two and uh, lightning returns. Oh no. Okay, to be fair, the combat does gradually get better, but okay, the story so gets significantly worse. Okay, so this is our first Cheeto worse. page. Cheeto pages are how you get cheat codes in this game. You yeah. pay five pages, you give them to Cheeto, and he gives you a code. And this is actually the world in which you actually input those codes. Welcome to a world that's large and codes. This is probably going to be our last Jiggy until we head out to the next world. Which is you called... You shoot down the flies? What? Shoot down the flies. Oh, we should probably do that as well. Okay. Let's shoot down flies. What Let's does the flies do to do? Let's see if I can do this in one Tip shot. He's tiptoeing. But not in his Jordans. Jordans? Jordans. Isn't he peaceful? Yeah. WAKE UP! Oh yeah, something I just remembered. Whenever... Yeah, whenever we, someone was talking about the show, or in the show, they all, would always refer to him as Double D. But when anyone writes down anything re uh, regarding him, they just write Ed with two Ds. I always find that really funny. Yeah, or Edward. 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 I mean, I, I would imagine they all have a, okay. some variation of when Edward I was, as their name. When I Edward. was, when I was a kid, I I I, I, I sincerely boy. thought Double D was a girl. <laughs> Wait, wow. you're saying you're telling me Double D's not a girl? Wow. I, I, like for the longest time, I always thought Double D was a girl. Like to I me, he sounded that. like one. Because he was one. He was not. Dude, not don't lie to me, Daniel. I I swear. I know where you live. I know where you sleep. Jake, Dude. I know where you live too. I mean, to be fair, that'd be like the best nickname to have as a girl. Double D. Or ah! Ah! ah, you get it. Ah. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. right. I love that writing. I was like, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, we're pulling out those jokes now. I'm sorry. What's your side? Oh, careful, this is a family-friendly game. See, when they break the fourth wall, they do it right, they do it quickly, and then they don't do it again. Bada -bing, bada -boom. In fact, I think the first line out of Yuka and Laylee's mouths are a fourth wall joke. That's how bad it is. I pebble gone. Me in so much trouble. Big beatings. Ooh. That was a little kinky. <laughs> okay. 